Alexander's marriage with Roxanne sealed the conquest of Central Asia. He now returned with his new bride to Balkh in northern Afghanistan to prepare for the invasion of India. We flew there in a warlord's helicopter. Alexander's expedition would open up the heart of Asia and for a thousand years after the Greeks, Balkh would be the greatest crossroads on the Silk Route to China. You can see its ruins below us, the walls stretching for seven miles with the remains of a hundred Buddhist monasteries, Zoroastrian fire temples, and later Christian and Jewish settlements, and the huge mosques of the Muslim period. When the Arabs came here in the seventh century, they called it simply the mother of cities. Fate, though, still had another card to play in this story. Here in Balkh, Alexander announced that he wished to be worshipped as a god, Persian style. You can imagine how that went down among the Macedonian veterans. And now, for the first time, there was a serious plot against Alexander's life. A group of royal pages planned to assassinate him. They were betrayed and tortured to death. But the dissension over Alexander's divinity climaxed in a sensational falling out with the man who'd helped create Alexander's image, Aristotle's nephew, the historian Callisthenes. The final rift took place here in the citadel at Balkh after a, a bitter exchange. Callisthenes left the royal presence and turned to reiterate two or three times a single line from Alexander's favourite book, the Iliad. The line is this, a better man than you by far was Patroclus, but still death did not spare him. In other words, you're not a god, Alexander. The king's response was predictably savage. Using the page's plot as a pretext, he arrested Callisthenes and had him tortured and crucified. Of all Alexander's deeds, it was said, this left the bitterest taste. For everyone agreed Callisthenes was innocent, yet he was brutally killed without trial. It was the act of a tyrant. And as Aristotle said, no one freely endures such rule. Alexander had already achieved more, perhaps, than he could have dreamed, but now the question was no longer his ability to do things, but whether his men would still follow him on into the unknown. 